You know, I hadn't painted in London for a little while. It'd been a good year, maybe a little bit longer. So it's quite nice to come back and sort of be like, okay, I've painted a big wall in the UK. I guess as a kid growing up in sort of an outskirts suburb of London, it gave me the ability to travel to and from really easily. I used to go past track sides and see them regularly getting painted and I was intrigued by that. It was punchy, bold and graphic and it was something that appealed to me as a, as a kid. And most of the older kids that I was hanging around with were catching tags. You know, a few of them were probably quite good graffiti writers looking back on it. And it just sort of became part of the whole thing that we did. Just as it was getting drunk, getting stoned, skateboarding, listening to punk music, you know, trying to do these things together as a collective. I got a job offer to work in a design agency. And then obviously at that point you suddenly like, okay, I need to make an income. I need to keep this job, hold this job down to pay my bills. But equally it isn't what I want to do at all. So I started to look for something else that I could do outside of that on my own that was free of any of the bullshit client briefs, free of anybody but me. And I just started drawing characters. Decided that I could draw them onto Pablon, you know, white vinyl from a hardware store. Started making these stickers, started sticking them up, enjoyed it, started becoming addictive. And I started, not one, and I was like, two, okay, I'm not gonna get a bus home, I'm gonna walk home, stick up as many stickers as I can, you know, that led to me with a fascination I've always had of screen printing. Okay, I can figure this out. I can photo, you're a photocopy at work, I can photocopy these things up much bigger. I can make posters and stick them together and make one big poster. It doesn't need to be the whole character, it can be the tongue, it can be the eyes, it can be the wings. I can take over things, I can fuck with them. It can be a literal defacing of something. Just started doing it like that, naturally. Didn't really have any idea of what I was doing. Okay, I cut a stencil and do that. And there was other people doing it, but it wasn't really a thing. It was like, oh, there's that guy doing that rat again. Oh, I see that guy. Oh, there's that guy, you know, doing the toaster. Oh, I see that guy. And there's that guy who writes Solo One, you know. Start to see these people, familiar people, and you start to slowly connect with them people. And I didn't think it was graffiti. It definitely wasn't that. I didn't know really what it was. It was just this thing that I was doing. What was good about that spot is the area has always been synonymous with prostitution. The park is a knocking shop, directly opposite is a brothel. I was like, I paint a piece that I've got in the show, and the piece in the show that made the most sense was the Guilty Pleasures piece, because it was a fucking great big blonde female with red lips with her mouth open, potentially having an orgasm. It kind of fitted quite nicely without being too perverse or disgusting or mor morose, which some of my work can be. So it was kind of like the most fitting I felt for that, for that spot.